The Morehouse School of Medicine in Atlanta is now partners with the United States Department of Health and Human Services. The school is the recipient of a $40 million initiative to fight COVID-19 in minority communities. 11 Alive's Chinu Her explains more about what that means. COVID-19 has devastated black and brown communities, in part, experts say, due to a lack of quality health care and resources. On Tuesday, a new weapon to help combat the pandemic that has disproportionately affected these communities. The Department of Health and Human Services Office of Minority Health selected Morehouse School of Medicine to spearhead a $40 million project. The goal is to fight the disease in the most vulnerable communities. The data suggests that Unfortunately, racial and ethnic minority communities have been hardest hit um, in terms of the number of cases of COVID, hospitalization, and in some cases, death rates. The CDC's numbers show that minority groups combined make up far more COVID-19 cases than white Americans. Rear Admiral Felicia Collins is the director of the Office of Minority Health. She says Morehouse was chosen as the grant recipient because of its past work. Morehouse School of Medicine has a history of working to respond to the needs of vulnerable communities that traditionally suffer from worse health outcomes. Dr. Dominic Mack is the director of the National Center for Primary Care at the Morehouse School of Medicine. He says he's proud to be a part of the school leading the three-year initiative. President Dr. Montgomery Rice has um, always spoke about how we are out here to lead health equity. Um, and what this does is it gives us an opportunity to, um, to act upon that. The project is designed to work with community-based organizations all over the country to deliver education and resources. The network will link communities to COVID-19 testing, health care, and social services. We recognized um, to be able to do a job like this by the national health system, um, I think it's a combination that we, we won't wear lightly.